Hey guys, here's a quick video to show you a trick that you can use Microsoft PowerPoint for to uh, help take a signature, give it a transparent background, and then what we'll do is I'll utilize that as a stamp in Adobe. So if I have documents that I need to quickly sign, we can do so. Um, so what I did is I just took, it was a standard just JPEG signature, opened it up, plopped it right into uh, PowerPoint here. Now, to tell the difference, to actually see what I mean by having the transparent background, I'm going to write, I'm actually going to click into the slide, right click, I'm going to go to format background, and I always go change transparency, because you're going to see now we've got this white block behind it. Um, what that means is if you were to actually take this and try to just plop it into a document, you'd have that big white block, and it would actually block any text that was on the document also. So one of the best ways to go about this, with this pulled up, if you click on the actual image itself, there's a couple ways. If you go to picture tools, you can either go to, for something like this, I would go to your color option, set transparent color, and then click on the color you want to get rid of. Now, this works well for a signature because it doesn't have to be like perfect color detail. And if there's a little bit of like, if it's, little pixelated, I guess you could say, or if it has little white splotches that kind of come off of it, it won't matter when it's on a document, especially when it's smaller, it looks better. So for signature, again, what we would do is we would actually take a white piece of paper. You want to make sure there's no real shadows. And if you need to do this, take a black Sharpie, something that's thicker, and draw it out. Once you've done that, I usually will take my phone and take a picture of the piece of paper so I get the image, but make sure there are no shadows because you want a consistent white background so you can do one click and remove all of the, the color that you don't need. Then once this is done, you can, of course, click and save the picture. And then I'm actually going to pull up Adobe to demonstrate that part too. You've got the ability, you can start to put in custom items such as, right under comments, you have these stamps. And what the stamp will do is you'll have a pull down menu, there we go, where you can create your own little section of it and you can import a, a PNG file as a stamp and be able to then just take it, stamp the document as if it's a signature and then you're not using the actual Adobe certified signature that can makes you log in and can be a little bit challenging sometimes. From within Adobe, you'll choose comment on the side here. You're going to go to your annotations and where it's got add a stamp, click the drop down and you're going to go to your custom stamps. Okay. Here you can create a custom stamp, browse for a file. It's going to try to pull up as a PDF first but we actually want a PNG because a PNG file has that transparent background. Um, that will list the different ones we're looking for, pull in our sample, click open, and now we have this image of what we're looking at. So we're cool with that. We're going to say OK. And then what you want to do is choose where you want to put it, keep the stuff organized, of course, and then name it. go and then you can click OK. So what that's going to do, I now have the ability, I can come into here, go to my signatures, grab it, and let's put it right over the words here. So you can see there's very minimal like spottiness onto it. You can of course resize this down because most of the time your signature would not be quite so big. And if Again, depending on the way you take that picture, the better you do, the better job you do of making sure there's no shadow, like you've got a nice single color that you can, in a sharp, thick line, you'll have a lot less of these little dots that are coming through all of this because it'll get rid of the color very, it would be very even when it gets rid of the cover, color. Um, so I hope this quick little trick of how you can go from signing a document, take the picture with your, you know, with a phone, upload or email it to whatever to where you can get it into PowerPoint then use PowerPoint to remove the background color or set the transparent color to you know for white to disappear and then save that as a PNG file to pull it into Adobe to store it for uh, future just stamping 
comments. Thanks for watching our video today. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button so we know and we'll keep making more content just like this. And as always, here's wishing you a very successful week.